aging face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what is up, guys? And of course, welcome to another episode of Who Was Really Better? And on today's episode, we are going to look at one of the rarest typing combination in the Pokemon game, Electric and Flying. And while there are only five, we're going to focus on the two that matters. And it's actually kind of surprising that it's such a rare typing combination, uh, being, like I said, only with five other Pokemon. Zapdos and Druze Generation 1 really stood tall for that very own reason. This typing combination made sure that Earthquake was not affecting it. Thunderous is the only one who rivaled this. And of course, that's two form. We're gonna, of course, compare it to the what I compared it to the stronger of the two forms of Thunderous being, of course, the incarnate form. And as stated, it took five generations to have something to kind of match up to Zapdos straight on power, which is a one immense one at that. So, with that said, we're gonna compare, of course, their stats, their move pool, their, of course, initiatives, and overall tier relevance. So, with all that said, let's, of course, first go over their stats. So, from the get-go, you guys can see that there are a few things here they have in common, but also peak at different things. Zapdos is the one with the more HP, of course 90, of course, versus the 79, so not a big difference there. Then, of course, we have the attack where Thunder stands out a little bit more, 115 over 90, which is kind of quite a leap, to be honest. But Zapdos is the more bulkier one at defense with 85 versus 70. They share the same special attack, which I had no idea while I was making this video. They are exactly as strong on the special side. That's actually kind of interesting. And then, of course, we come to the special defense. Yes, Zapdos has the better special defense, but it is also the slower one because Thunders has a very, very niche speed tier of 111, while Zapdos only has 100. And if you guys, of course, learned anything by course previous episode, you know that a niche speed tier could be very, very important depending on the matchup. Now, with that said, we're going to, of course, go over their abilities. And um, it took actually quite some time before Zapdos got a different ability outside of pressure, being, of course, static. Now, static is a decent ability, not definitely the strongest one, but, of course, being able to paralyze your opponent. Uh, with a fair chance of physical contact moves. Now, with that said, Pressure is probably the most preferred one for most players because of Zapdos. Just over-reliance on actually being a very, very hard Pokemon to KO. And then if we look at, of course, the likes of Thunderous, it has, of course, Defiant and Prankster. Two abilities which definitely are superb. Now, the abilities on, of course, as stated, Thunderous are definitely making it a bit more defining and more scarier to deal with mainly of course defiant here which of course boosts your attack by two as you lose another stats of course in team late boosts your attack by one if that were the case it could be utilized fairly well mainly because funders has of course a very viable attack though it is mostly used for its special attack and there is where its prime kind of lies in uh of course, with Nasty Plot and Pranks on Pond, that makes it even scarier. And then we have, of course, the Resto Chester variant, which only embodies, of course, the evilness that is Thunders. And, of course, Prankster T-Way. Prankster T-Way is this Pokemon's bread and butter and has been that since Generation 5, really. So, it has a very, very, very dangerous uh, abilities and definitely triumphs over, of course, Zapdos when it comes to that. So, of course, with their abilities out of the way, one must really actually talk about, of course, the immunity resistances and weaknesses. And the reason for that is because, like I said there, Electric and Flying is a superb, is a great freaking combination. Getting immunity to ground, basically any immunity that is, of course, an electric issue. And actually only have a few weaknesses that are born with a Flying type and actually get extra few weaknesses or resistances due to it makes this combination a very very good extra type move for a flying flying generally tend to have a lot of weaknesses and a very few immunity this one not only preserves that it actually embodies it and makes it even more viable resistant bug fighting flying grass and steel are very 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 important while of course ice and rock are its only weaknesses and stealth rocks being one prominent one that definitely makes these two pokemon a bit more crippled when it comes to, of course, entering the battlefield, they're still standing out as having, of course, six moves that they can generally take well and actually immune to one of them. And only weak by two, yeah, that are very few things you need to adjust to to still do fairly well. So with that said, we kind of have to go over, of course, their move pool. We're going to start with Zapdos. 
Now, this Pokemon really, really stands out when it comes to just overarching thing what these thing can do, due to, of course, being a more defensively variant of this combination of typings and having X ability of the likes of Roost and resisting a plethora of moves, Zapdos becomes fairly dangerous. It is speed enough to be relevant. It hurts hard enough to actually scare out things. And of course, with Roost, it becomes somewhat hard to kill. There are very few Pokemon that take it on one-on-one. -on -one. They can definitely KO it in one-on-one. -on -one. And they actually get a pretty weird move pool because due to its flying typing, it does get Heatwave. While it has the standard stuff, like, of course, hidden powers is a general thing. Extra Sensory, Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, uh, Ear Cutter, not Slash, sadly. And, of course, Defog. Zapdos get a pretty niche kind of viability going on around it. It's every set that it could be utilized, it utilized fairly well. And actually, it's somewhat viable due to it. And due to it's actually a kind of fair attack, it can utilize actually its physical move pull fairly well too. Like, of course, the likes of Steel Wing. And one thing I definitely can't forget is, of course, that due to Generation 7 implementing Generation 1 Pokemon moves, Zapdos actually got even further better with, of course, the likes of Reflect and Whirlwind, now a part of its overarching roster. Now, it should be mentioned that it gets Signal Beam and Discharge too, so Zapdos has a lot of very, very strong attacks going on together with his very, very good defensive typing. And with, of course, Roost, the stamina of Zapdos becomes that much more dangerous, making Zapdos a very, very ferocious Pokemon to actually be dealing with. It's actually one of those very few Pokemon that are very hard to adjust to, mainly because it can be so many things. But that kind of stands for its opponent too, Thunderous. And as I said here, it took four generations before Zapdos to even have something to be compared to, and what I'm on, it got compared against. So, before I even start when it comes to Thunderous, I'm just gonna say something that makes Thunderous so awesome. It's Move Pool. It is something, you know, outside of this world really, it has such a big variety, and um, the ones that definitely stands out are for good reasons. Uh, Thunderous learns, of course, the likes of uh, Hammer Arm, Superpower, uh, gets Crunch, Discharge, Nasty Plot, Agility, and uh, then, of course, when it comes to TM moves, you get Psychic, you get Sludge Bomb, Sludge Wave, Focus Blast, Brutal Swing, Small Strike, Volt Switch, Thunder Wave, clearly, Grass Knot, Fly, uh, Flash Cannon, and then, of course, from Generation 6 Mewtutor, we have, of course, Incinerate, which is even a more typing combination, the electric type from it, or the fire base attack from it. Uh, Foul Play, Iron Tail, Knock Off. And uh, yeah, there are so many good moves this Pokemon learns naturally that it's not even funny. It can adjust for a lot of situations. It does lack proper flying stab outside, of course, Fly or Sky Strike, but due to, of course, inclusion of, of course, C moves. Fly becomes a little bit more viable, together with of course the likes of Bulk Up, this Pokemon can become very scary very fast. So now that we established of course what these guys represent, one definitely can see directly that Zapdos always have been the defensive response to this type of combination, and as stated this type of combination is a very very prominent good defensive typing, but Thunderous also represent the physical embodiment of just sweeping capabilities, world breaking capabilities. As a mixed sweeper, it stands out really, really tall because this type of combination is not only a good defensive typing, it's also a very, very good offensive typing combination. But it does lack, of course, flying stab outside, of course, the physical embodiment and, of course, using hidden power as flying to kind of utilize this fairly better. And um, it has a niche speed tier, which makes it all the more interesting over, of course, the likes of Zapdos, because it can deal with a pretty, more, pretty much more things. And um, what it all gonna boils down to is whether or not which Pokemon has the most kind of viability in the long run. And here is where things get kind of weird. While Thunderous does have, of course, overall, the better move pool would, of course, the likes of, yeah, just a plethora of movesets, really, and a mixed tier. Zapdos has the relevant ones. Yeah, this is this is gonna be a little bit of a mind-boggling, but I'm actually gonna give this win to Zapdos. And hear me out on this. It is definitely not, you know, Zapdos is better and that's it. It is basically... Thunders is the, definitely the one more ferocious one, the stronger, the overall arcing one, of course, the weak speeds here, the more viable one, and definitely in, of course, a meta environment. But 
Thunders is just that. He's the more aggressive one. He's the sweeper of the team. Zapdos is in general always a supporter to pirate Pokemon, but in main support. And Electric Flying does do better as a, of course, defensive response. And with Roost, Zapdos can keep on going. It is not the most defining Pokemon that is weak to rocks. It can actually save itself from a pretty crippling weakness. And together with the likes of, of course, being able to defog, it can also become, of course, a hazard removal for the team. Which makes Zapdos a little bit unique and definitely for its cyber combination still pretty darn relevant. But it's not only that. Zapdos, Moopool, as I stated here, it's the more relevant one. It is, you know, getting Heat Wave. Yes, please, that's great. And also, it also opened up to itself for actually using a more relevant hidden power. It does have, of course, the likes of Air Cutter making it not forced to use a hidden power that is flying. It actually utilized, even though it is a weak move, a 60 base. That is still what, of course, hidden power flying represents. So, Zapdos has the more actually wiggle room to actually utilize itself a little bit better than Thunders are when it comes to actually defining matchup. And I'm actually looking at this as more of a league perspective than of course a meta perspective, mainly because I do believe they kind of share the same kind of issues in the meta. Well, of course, Funders being a more viable one due to, like I stated here, it is the sweeper of the team. But when it comes to synergizing and capitalize itself on actually being a defensive response and actually utilize itself as a more stamina heavy Pokemon, Zapdos just triumphs over Funders over and over again. And uh, it's very easy to make Zapdos the more viable one, in my opinion. While I do prefer actually Thunders myself, I can't deny that Zapdos is pretty darn good. And now when it gets Reflect and Whirlwind, yeah, this thing got a bit better. Mainly because of Whirlwind actually forces, of course, a Pokemon to switch. Because Zapdos does wall things out kind of naturally. And being able to actually force a switch now with Whirlwind... Yeah, it, it just got better, and, and actually a lot better. So, the winner here is Zapdos. So, with that said, of course, who do you think is really better? I mean, this is definitely, like I said, personal preferences. Like I said, I prefer Funders, but I can't ignore Zapdos. Just overarching, supreme, really, when it comes to its typing alone. So, with that said, guys, make sure to, of course, watch the next episode, but we're gonna watch these two fight it off.